Explore Beyond the Stratosphere in Museum of the Bible's compelling exhibition, Scripture and Science, Our Universe, Ourselves, Our Place, in Washington, D.C., open now through January 15th. Featuring artifacts from trailblazers in history like Isaac Newton, Nicholas Copernicus, and hidden figures like Dorothy Vaughn, this exhibit guides you through groundbreaking discoveries and thought-provoking questions. Come and see how Scripture and Science have shaped our world. Get your tickets today at museumofthebible.org. On today's Smart 7, Gillian Keegan has a tough day. Kier does a reshuffle and lots more. It's Tuesday the 5th of September. It's International Day of Charity and happy birthday, Sigrid. The Smart 7. It's news, but not the news. Does anyone ever say, you know what, you've done a f- good job because everyone else has sat on their and done nothing. No, no, no signs of that. No. That's current education minister Gillian Keegan. Yes, the same one in charge of the schools that are literally collapsing. She felt that an interview with ITV's Daniel Hewitt was too tough on her, and so thinking her mic was off, let him know exactly how she felt. She's apologised for her off-the-cuff comments, but has been widely criticised. Meanwhile, Jonathan Slater, the Department of Education's former permanent secretary, says Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has questions to answer over his school refurbishment budget decisions as Chancellor in 2021. So the actual ask in the spending review in 2021 was to double the 100 to 200, but the actual decision that the Chancellor took in 21 was to half the size of the programme. Rishi, however, was not in the mood to take any responsibility while also confirming that this is in fact what happened. I think that is completely and utterly wrong. Actually, one of the first things I did as Chancellor in my first spending review in 2020 was to announce a new 10-year school rebuilding programme for 500 schools. And in terms of fixing the issue, General Secretary of the National Education Union, Dallin Cabede, just doesn't see how the budget numbers will stack up. I find that a bit of a fantasy idea, to be honest. Building schools for the future, that was a £55 billion pound a year project. That's not in the remit of the current DfE budget. There is some serious expenditure that needs to happen and the government should commit to that. Last week saw Prime Minister Rishi Sunak have a micro reshuffle on his front bench as he replaced retiring Defence Secretary Ben Wallace with the man who's had a thousand jobs, Grant Shapps. Monday was Labour's turn to hand out promotions and demotions as they prepare for a general election and the prospect of turfing out the Tories. Lisa Nandy and Jonathan Ashford were two big name casualties who got bumped off the front bench, creating space for Shabana Mahmood, Liz Kendall and Hilary Benn. Deputy Leader Angela Rayner will be Deputy Prime Minister if Labour win the election with Pat McFadden now in charge of the campaign. New Shadow Culture Secretary Tangam Debonair says it's time to get ready for power. If we're going to tackle climate change, if we're going to give children a great future, we need Keir to feel like he's got the right team around him, we need the right people in post. The man who spawned a thousand memes, Shadow Net Zero Secretary and former Labour Party leader Ed Miliband managed to avoid the chaos and stays in post. These are decisions for the leader. I used to have to make these decisions. I'd never liked uh, reshuffle days, but I'm, I'm getting on with my job very happily. Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Turkish President Erdogan on Monday. On the agenda was the now paused Black Sea grain deal. Turkey is keen to resuscitate the deal, which saw millions of tonnes of grain shipped to ease the growing food crisis. But Russia's President Putin is demanding an easing of restrictions on their own exports of food and fertiliser first. In terms of security in the region, of course, we will not ignore the issues related to the Ukraine crisis. I know you are going to bring up the grain deal. We are ready to negotiate in this regard. The Ukraine set to appoint Rostan Umarov as its new defence minister. There was some more good news on the ongoing counter-offensive with reports of further progress in the east around the town of Bakhmut. Sky News analysis Major General Rupert Jones says it's important that Zelensky presents Ukraine as corruption-free. We know that President Zelensky is looking to the west. He's looking to the EU downstream for potential membership. So, So this really matters as he has his broader international conversation. He's got to be seen to be bearing down on on corruption.
It's been an unfortunate few weeks for Simon Byrne, the Chief Constable of the Police Service of Northern Ireland. He found himself at the centre of a massive data breach which exposed the details of 10,000 officers and employees. The details on that list ended up in the hands of dissident Republicans. Then last week, Belfast High Court found that the PSNI had unlawfully disciplined two junior officers in response to complaints from Sinn Féin. That proved to be the final straw and Monday saw Northern Ireland Policing Board Chairwoman Deirdre Toner announce that he had resigned and read a short statement on his behalf. The last few days have been very difficult for all concerned. Regardless of the rights and wrongs, it is now time for someone new to lead this proud and resolute organisation. Can I thank those who have shown me trust, advice and friendship? And of course, thank you to the brave men and women of the Police Service of Northern Ireland. Still to come in the Smart 7, a Formula 1 great ways in on Max Verstappen and Robbie is heading to Netflix. Right after this. Rakuten helps you be a smarter shopper and save money on just about everything you buy. We all have things we need to buy, whether it's home essentials or a self-care treat just for you. With Rakuten, you get cash back on clothes, groceries, travel, and much, much more. Even better, you can stack cash back on top of other deals like store sales and credit card points. In case you're wondering, the stores on Rakuten are the ones you know and love, and lots of cool ones waiting to be discovered like Overstock, Chewy, Dyson, Ulta Beauty, H&M, Asics, Moose Jaw, I could go on and on, so many more. When it comes to savvy shopping and saving money, Rakuten is a no-brainer. It's free and easy to join. Just go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Rakuten. Welcome back. The Italian Grand Prix last weekend saw Red Bull's Max Verstappen set a new record for the most consecutive wins by a driver. He won 10 in a row this season, although there's been some grumbling in the pit lanes, including from Lewis Hamilton, that Max doesn't appear to have a competitive teammate to battle against. Red Bull didn't take that well, but former Formula One champion Damon Hill reckons that Max has what it takes to be one of the all-time greats. He has achieved something no one else has done, and the Red Bull team as well. They won 15 races this year. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible record. But you, you can't put it down to the car. This guy is special. In a year that has seen a number of musical greats depart, including Sinead O'Connor, Tina Turner and Burt Bacharach, it's great to see the Cher is still alive and kicking. She's been busy too, launching her own gelato called Sherlato, of course, and she famously flew to Pakistan in 2020 to rescue an elephant called Kavan. She's not finished with the rescues either. Her next project is to rescue a 38-year-old elephant called Billy from LA Zoo. She popped up on Good Morning Britain and Susanna Reid wanted to know how she stays so young at 77 years of age. Honestly, I'm not trying to feel young. I'm not trying to be young. I am who I am. So whatever that means, I'm I'm just getting along. Netflix has been on a good run of music documentaries recently with their Wham! film hitting the top 10 in 23 countries around the world. They're turning their attention to Robbie Williams next, the black sheep of Take That that is getting a four-part series in which he'll talk through his life, career and the various demons he's battled along the way. Robbie says it'll feature sex and drugs and mental illness and it's due to drop later this year. The thing that would destroy me has also made me successful. Touch the fire touch the button, push when it says pull. All of those things have given me my career, but there's also a detrimental side to it too. Depends which wolf you feed. You've been listening to The Smart 7. We'll be back tomorrow at 7am. Hit that follow button and have a great day. Give us seven minutes, we'll give you the world.